Hi, I'm not yet dead in name and in nature, and welcome to another mod roundup. And it doesn't look much like of a roundup because there's only really one thing in front of us, but um, we've had another few mods come out. Um, the majority of those aren't physical. We've had a few um, Seasons Geos come out, and I'm, I'm not going to demonstrate those in any way. Um, but um, they're really interesting actually. So we've had two Japan Geos, uh, two Romanian Geos, and, um, and a Tyrol Geo. Um, and actually I think that's really interesting. Uh, we don't have any maps that I'm aware of that are in Romania or Japan, but um, I think it's a great that, that, that these are coming out. Um, so yeah, there's one in, from Aichi in Japan, one from Takachi in Japan, both by Shokunin Factory. Um, the Tyrol Geo is by Sud Tyrol Abawa. Um, and, uh, and yeah, the two Romanian Geos by Sidekid, Sidekick, Sidekick D34. Um, great uh yeah it's, it's fantastic that we're getting things to different countries if you if you live in those countries or if you just want to try them out it's great um the romania one's particularly interesting it comes with a, a, a standard one and a three day they're both based in the same location brashoff in romania uh but the three day one's particularly interesting so if you're running seasons in three days the point being that if you're running three days and you have three days of rain over harvest you're you're screwed you've lost all of your crops Whereas in a six day season, that's not going to affect you quite so much. So they've done that specifically so that it will be dry in summer, early autumn, so you can get your, your crops in, which I, it's, it's quite good. Uh, there's also been an update come out to the Hill of Slovenia. Um, I haven't looked at that yet, so I don't think I'll be doing a, an update review of that. So there's two things we're particularly here to look at today. Uh, one of which is right in front of us, the Caparici FC 260CR by Pepe978 of FSI Modding, and the Hall by Möchte Gernbauer. Um, who also did the depot haul um, that we looked at in the last video, or depot shared, I beg your pardon, that we looked at in the last video. So yeah, the, the Caparici right in front of us, the haul we'll see in a minute, I've got that in a field somewhere. Um, so yeah, used for transporting or bales, three axles and twin wheels. I do like to use a low loader for baling. Um, length nine meters width two and a half it's a good size selectable automatic loading or manual loading and there's two models one for round bales and one for square bales capacity 24 round bales or 26 square it's only 12 and a half thousand euros or pounds dollars a day um, and maintenance of 10 so if we look in the store uh, you can see there's the two models one for square one for round bales I've kept them the same colours. So all my square ones are round bale ones, the blue one's a square bale one. Go in, choice of rim colours, the bed can either be red or blue. And then you've got four different options, low loader without support, low loader with support, uh, manual loading or the auto load and say it's auto load square, auto load round. Obviously, if you're not using the auto load, it actually doesn't make an awful lot of difference which one you've got. I don't think, haven't we looked in, no, these, this frame at the front is exactly the same. Okay, so let's start this end. So this is sort of the base standard trailer in red, as you can see. Lovely support, some great animations. We'll look at this in a minute. Loads of detail. It's a really nice trailer. I like this trailer. I think I may have to use this. Uh, only 12 and a half thousand. It's a real bargain. You know, it's a wheel loader. It's a wheel loader. It's a low loader as well as a bale trailer, which is always a great combination. I really like this. I think this will be coming to a let's play gameplay near me very soon. This one's slightly tip back just because it's on this edge here. Um, so that's the standard one. This is the one with supports, and it took me ages to figure out what this is. It's this here. It's got these sort of front. I suppose it just stops you driving the front wheels over the lip, which I suppose you probably could do in that one. So it's just got those, that's all that means, so you can really budge something right up to it. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Then moving along, uh, you've got this one, which is the bale version. Um, so it's got the supports again, but this time it's got these spars coming out, so the sort of the bale frame at the front, and it's got straps, which this one 
doesn't have. So this is just a low loader, just low loader. Um, and you, there's nothing stopping you stacking bales on it, but for the fact there's no straps, which won't help. Um, and of course the frame at the front is all useful. And I really like this because this is actually ideal for the way that I usually do bales. If I'm using a low loader, I don't always, but I do sometimes. And it's nice, you can just drive your telehandler or your, your front loader tractor with front loader forks straight onto the trailer, straight up to the end. And because you've got a framing, shove them right up against it. And then everything else after that. So there's none of this, you load it from side to side. You always got the risk of pushing the ones on the other side off. So that's quite cool. And then this is the autoload version. So we'll try this in a minute. Um, obviously, visibly, it's exactly the same. Um, and then, so these are the round bale ones. This is the square bale one. It's just, I've done it blue just so I can recognize which is which, because um, that's the way the round they are in the store. But yeah, it's nice. It's a really, really, really nice mod. This will be quite a short video, I think. Anyway, let's get a couple of tractors. Something beefy. Why not? Try and get different things each time. Right. Oh, I should have got white tires. Okay, so. Hook this up. Quite right. There we go. Right. So, um, see, so yeah, I'll bring it forward a little bit. L1X. You can see the supports come down at the back, which is really cool. And then the low loader ramps. Nice animations. Nice and smooth, as you'd expect. FSI modding. It's got all the grip on here all the sort of metal you know i forget the textured surface whatever you'd call that um looks really really good see the little loops there that the chain goes on when it's done up and actually if i just detach it you can see the little prop comes down at the front as well goes back up again lovely smooth animations nice clear number plate at the back lift it up there it goes that comes up supports come up you can actually see it drop down onto its tires it's brilliant it's really good. Actually, do you see? Oh, yes, I noticed this. Shall I watch the video? So if I do that again, you can see the lever comes down to put the struts down. Then the lever comes down to load the, to lower the the ramps. And if we go underneath, can't quite do it from here. The level of detail in there is just amazing. It looks really, really good. So yeah, so that's that. So actually, what we'll do. around so I'm being lazy. Get the Massey Ferguson. Quite a big old tractor. Let's see how it fits. Might be a bit wide. Nope. Absolutely perfect. And as you can see tons of room on the back so when I was I, I bailed a field whoopsie just come off the edge there I bailed a field I had a tractor and a baler on here this morning but yeah so how easy would it be? yeah so you can you can drive off the edge so you've got that risk of if you don't have those supports driving off the edge but you know you don't have to It'll give you a little bit extra room I dare say if you don't have them depends what you want to do just what I was trying to check actually do it. There's any discernible distortion of the tyres as you take the weight off. It's really hard to see. Yeah, nothing obvious. I'll tell you what. Pop out. Do that. 
far, but the supports are down, that's why. Yeah, so a little bit, you can see the tyres take the weight, even just the trailer itself. It's brilliant. Okay, well I don't propose to, to show you each and every one of them. Let's get the, uh, the two auto load ones and let's go try them out. Take the round one first. I'll see you out in the field. Right, so as you can see, <laughs> got a bit of a mix of bales. So what I've got down there, that I've done the round bales with, just because I wanted to test this out, and I'd never used it before, so I thought, good opportunity. I got the Galignani, which is also an FSI modding um, mod, uh, the 1950 SL, because it creates 5,000 litre bales as opposed to the standard in-game 4,000 litre bales. Now I'm assuming from a bales perspective, that the, um, actually we'll put the help window on. Ah, oh, yes, operating position, okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that from a bail perspective in the game, it doesn't care once a bail's a bail's a bail's a bail, right? Um, but I want to test it, because, you know, I think the capacity of this, was it, I did say, was it 24? We go low loaders. 24, yeah, so it's 24 round bales or 26 square bales. Um, so let's give it a go. Operating position. Hey, hey. Yeah, bell's not supported because it's um, the square bales as well. That's fine. So yeah, it works perfectly. Just, I mean, you know, as does the, um, you know, it's the same as the auto, is it the auto bale? I can't remember what it was called. Have I missed one? No, I thought I missed one. Yes, yes, I know. Right, so let's get this full. I have done, perhaps slightly unnecessarily, you didn't need to see it full, but I have done 50 bales. There are 50 bales sitting on this field. 24 round, 26 square. Because, why not? Took me a really long time, so we're going to pick them up. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, I haven't used one of these for ages. It's been a long time since I've done bales. But I will do soon, and I think this will be coming. Because the fact, you know, what's nice about this, and, and and the other auto bale one, of course, is that you can do it manually, or you can auto load. It's up to you. So if you want to do a few, but then another time you perhaps don't have time, or you're in a rush to do something in particular, then you can auto load brilliant and the fact that this is a low loader as well for me this is ah oh, this has got to be the perfect oh look at the um the steering the trailer steering that's really good actually so you can really get around the field with it too gotta to say the Lamborghini's starting to struggle with this it head's quite undulating this field so we've got 20 uh oh where's my other round bale yeah it's it does, because the other advantage of this, of course, is the um, the other auto load bale pack is um, based on the Flegel, which of course has a uh, pivoting front axle, which I, whoa, that was weird. I didn't do that, that wasn't me, that's very odd, I'm not sure why it did that. Yeah, not sure what happened there. Uh, okay, so actually, should be able to come back on the trailer and do that. That's a bit odd. I don't know if that's something I did. I wasn't aware that it was something I did. But that's a shame because they're not going to look quite so neat. But they're there. So that's it. Transporting position. And they're locked on. They're not going anywhere. So it's all good. Wow. You know, let's go and have a look at this hall. And then we'll talk about that in a minute. That looks great. I like this. Oh, and of course what you can do, right? Have some tension belts. Ooh, but they don't go over the bales. Oh, that's a bit strange. Not they need to on an auto load trailer, I suppose. Maybe they don't when it's auto when it's got sort of auto load on, if you see what I mean. So welcome to the hall. 
we'll, uh, we'll go through it in a bit more detail in a minute, but I'm curious actually to see if it'll do this. It's not as long, it's not quite as big as the one that we had last week, so it's a completely different shape. Um, I do like slightly wider doors, we'll talk about it in a bit more detail in a second. I'm curious. If I left enough room, just about. Oh, I can't quite get... I know bells here. Oof. I was a bit worried they were suddenly going to all roll away. In fact, they have done at the front, which is a shame. And I'm going to mess them up now anyway. Oopsie. Mind you, I can always do this. <laughs> That's what I really like about auto load, auto load trades. Yes, it's done it again. As soon as it's full, I wonder if that's a glitch. Yeah, as soon as it's full, it's it's automatically put the bales to one side, which is a bit weird. Uh, hmm. What I could do. I've got so I'm not that sure why I'm so fussed about this, but anyway, I, I am. I just am. It's just how I am. I'm sorry. Unload bales. Sweep them over. Put them down. Whoa, not through the wall. That's a bit odd. Unload. Bounced up a little bit. It's always the risk of auto loading round bales. I've now got stuck. Haven't I? But that's pretty cool. Okay. So, round bales, no problem. It's still picking up that dead air, which is a bit strange. Ooh, that's strangely glitchy. It's suddenly saying it's got 15,000 litres of... That's very odd. Something very odd about that. That's a bit strange. Not sure why that would be. Anyway. I mean, it's fine. Which looks a bit weird. Is it still there? If I detach it, is it still... Saying it's got 20,000 litres of grass in it. Very odd. Anyway. Let's get the other one. tension belts etc so I'm assuming yeah perhaps if you do manual loading that those actually go over the bales as they would do normally but perhaps because it's auto load it's operating in a slightly different way and doesn't really see them what I didn't do of course rear beacon lights very nice indicators which look brilliant actually they look really good not sure what it is about them it's just you can almost see the bulb inside very cool Oh look, I had an extra round bale. I had no idea. Oh well, there you go. Right, operating position. Let's do this. Oh, it's putting them side on. I suppose it's. Oh, that's very interesting. That's very, very interesting. But it's just the width it's slightly unusual. This part's not quite as wide as a normal bale trailer. Very interesting. Okay, so far so good. That's nine. What's this supposed to be? Twenty-six. Ah, okay, one on the back. Whoopsie. That was a bit odd. My fault. Ten. So that's eleven. Yep, still stacking in that way. Twelve. It's got a good, good speed actually with this tractor. Down slightly. There we go. Thirteen. Any more up? Here. Doesn't look like it. 
Wow, again, bit of a... not sure what that was, because I'm not steering that hard. Quite useful with the lights on so I can see where the bales are. Not through the trees, of course. Come on, see a bale. Ah, there's one. So that'll be 14. It could be that all of the others are on the other side of the field. It's an interesting field that's got this little river running, that brook running down the middle through it. Brilliant. Finding the crossing point's quite challenging. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, quite a few on here. Okay. Oh, but hang on. I might be one short. Not that it matters. Doesn't have to be full. Because if I've got an extra round bale, that might mean I didn't create enough square bales. Maybe I ended up with 51. Okay, 18. So far, so good. You have an interesting job on stacking it though, if you were going to do it manually, I suppose, using the auto load, why would you? I guess. Oh, and now it's going, wow, it really is sliding, that's very strange, as this tractor's just not quite heavy enough for it. Take this quite carefully now. So yeah, you'd need a bigger tractor, I think, than this on the roads, because this is uh, getting a little bit precarious. Uh, anyone see Oh yes, there it is, I see it. Whoa, sliding. Really am sliding. Good grief. Yeah, I think maybe this tractor's struggling with the weight of this. My fault. So you need a, you need a big... Oh, geez, it's 26 bales. I mean, let's face it. Oh, it's full. Oh, so I actually ended up with 27, so you can't get one on the back there. Oh, shame. That'd be nice. Not to worry. But yeah, you wouldn't want to unstack it manually because you'd have to take the top layer off. Too much. That's slightly weird. Because in theory, you should be able to take a stack of, what's that, three, but two up and one across, if you see what I mean, at a time. Anyway. But they're all on, and these didn't jump. So as you notice, this is now a full trailer, and it didn't jump to the side. Maybe that was something I'd done. I don't know. Whoa. Jackknife. All we need to do now is find the crossing point. Yeah, it's actually been really weird. I've got supports down, have I? No. This is slightly odd behaviour. Because we're not going that fast. Like I say, maybe it's just, where is that crossing point? Maybe this track just isn't quite, I just can't find where we get across. Um, yeah, maybe this track is just not quite heavy enough, it's really struggling to turn it. Where is that crossing point? Very odd. I know it's next to one of these trees, being very gingerly driving here. Whoa, and there it's gone again, jackknife. down, I've already driven past it, that's why here it is, look, you can even see the marks. Right, I'm taking this very steady. But it's managing. It's going to struggle to pull that out of there, though, isn't it? Goodness. Yeah, so you need a big tractor. If you're going to put pails in it, you need a bigger tractor. But it's done it. Try not to lose control as we go down the hill. Like that. Whoa. I'm not even steering and it's doing that. Just pushing the tractor out of the way. Sheer weight. Interesting enough, of course. God, this is four-wheel drive. Oh, look. So that's... That's weird, isn't it? So there was obviously some interaction between the trailers. I drove it round there. Because it's actually tipped those bales all over the place. That's very odd, but perhaps didn't quite pick them up because of the um, the walls. Yeah, this tractor's really struggling with this. I picked the wrong tractor. It, it's my fault. It's nothing to do with the mod, I'm sure. <laughs> but we are here. Of course, I hadn't put them in transporting position. That's a bit silly, but never mind. Unload bales. Move them across. Slide them down. 
unload here and of course they're square they sit nicely that's brilliant absolutely fantastic love it yeah you're always safer with square bales than round bales in any scenario but certainly in in, in unloading an auto stack anyway we're now here and a little bit trapped because the round bales are managed to get all over the place so rather than me make an idiot myself for any longer lights off tractor off nice do you like a massy right so yeah let's have a quick look at the hall so again store it's under placeables hall it's 50,000 about it really the reason I put it on this field rather than in the placeable section actually one more quick thing six slots that so takes six slots is yeah I just wanted to see how well it, it coped with a very uneven surface and actually it's all right I mean it, you've got the standard concrete apron here but it's also put this sort of ballast rough slightly rougher concrete it's perfectly smooth with the with the standard one so it's made up the height difference there's a little bit of grass coming through the concrete here but that's no big deal but there's none inside the building which is really good so it's compensated well for the fact it's on a slope there's a nice sort of concrete base to it this brick wall's really good I think it looks really nice I actually really like this um, I like the fact that unlike the other one it's got nice big doors at the front uh, I shouldn't close it really but I'm going to and it will close onto the trailer but never mind um, the doors open close separately sorry I'm going to do it again I shouldn't have left that there should I but never mind I don't know why I put it quite so close to the edge of the field but still I needed the grass so um, but yeah so they're nicely good animations nice sound effects lights plenty of lights nice and bright in here I think this is nice and I like this actually because it's not quite as big as the other one but it's length it's got more length um, so if you had the two together the other one's got three smaller doors this one's got two really big doors but you can get you know there's a screenshot I think of it with a huge harvester with its header on you know you can get your bigger equipment your wider equipment could go in here or your longer equipment because uh, it's more sort of lengthways but then you could equally put longer equipment you know in the back of uh, of the old one just drive it through and leave it parked up I like it it's good and actually the combination of the two I mean they're expensive if you get both of them but the combination of the two brilliant brilliant anyway one last thing to do just to prove oh I don't know if that detached it or oh, just to prove just to test especially a bit weird with this now that it's got yeah there's something very odd happened to this look at that it's actually tipping the whole thing over yeah I don't know what's going on with that saying it's got grass in it not bales but grass something very very odd has happened to that trailer that's a bit worrying hmm okay how about we don't use that one we'll gloss over that because I have no idea what happened there that's very strange Oh, and it's not it. Okay, bug alert. It won't return it. Oh, of course, I had hundreds of them, didn't I? Now it's gone. Okay. Fine, then we'll try this with this one, which unfortunately means I need to get it out of here. <laughs> that should be alright. There we go. Nicely done. Okay. So, what we're going to do. We've been, we've done our baling, we put our baling, we put our bales in our in our bale store. At the end of the day, right, I missed one, fine, two actually. And how do you get your lovely baler back? Put it on the back of your bale trailer. Easy. Now, I'll admit it's not a particularly big track to this, but it's a big baler, actually. Oh, and no, I didn't leave it long enough to lower it down. So, okay, so when you get out, it stops lowering. As, to be fair, most of the low loaders do. Now it's down. 
yeah it's not a huge tractor but it was how much power I needed to pull the uh, the baler oh what I really liked about this is as you watch if you watch the baler oh, which isn't on straight by the way to come over a little bit It's a big, it's a big beast. This thing. Watch the pickup on the baler go up as it goes up the ramp. That's very cool. Very cool. Not going to go too far forwards because of the that could restrict, of course, if you can use it as both a bale trailer and a low loader. But there's plenty of room. Get too much more on there, but you know. And now it's on. I was using this as a low loader earlier. I haven't tried this yet, actually, with the bale version. Is the tractor locked in place? It looks like it. it looks pretty stable. So yeah, there again, at low speed, you can see the the wheels steering, but actually at high speed, they don't. Yeah, that looks pretty stable to me bit uncertain about how much I want to do this because clearly this tractor's not quite powerful enough or heavy enough for this when it's got loads of stuff on it but I'm guessing chances are this tractor and this bale are probably way less than those bales did but yeah I mean that looks all right that tractor is well locked in place it's not going anywhere <laughs> ish <laughs> brilliant well there we go so, um, I think we're done. I think I've, I've tested everything I could test. Um, I do hope you found this uh, useful or interesting or just silly or whatever. Um, and uh, if you did, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe yet, please feel free to do so. And, um, you know, as I said in some of my previous videos, you know, I'm trying to increase the, the viewer list, the people who like to, to come and enjoy these. So if you, if you are enjoying them and uh, you think other people might enjoy them as well, please, please do share. Uh, spread the word and um, otherwise I'll look forward to working you back to one of my maps very soon. Bye bye for now.